uh, in spite of this disruption by a small group, the campus is open and, uh, and functioning. We have had the help uh, of the SAPs, the Public Order Policing and uh, Private Security, and this has been necessary in response to these unlawful forms of, of action which we co utterly condemn. Uh, there is no excuse for, uh, there, it is fine to protest and to make a point, there is no excuse for preventing other people from being able to study, to write their tests and exams, and to be in the library. There have also been disruptions in the residences where the catering services have been uh, interfered with, and so those students have been issued with food vouchers so that they can eat, uh, that they can get meals off campus. Um, the, the protest is, is un utterly unacceptable at this time of the year, particularly since we have made uh, all reasonable attempts, we believe, to negotiate, to meet students, to understand what the legitimate uh, demands might be. Uh, and I need to say that uh, the executive was uh, working until after midnight last night in negotiations again to try to avoid uh, disruption. But uh, frankly, the demands, uh, we are, the demands that are currently being placed, uh, given to us, which just expand uh, with each meeting, uh, do not seem to us to be reasonable uh, or, or that we can meet them. Some we can't meet because they are completely beyond our control. The main one is that there should be a 0% fee increase, uh, and that is the university would go bankrupt if we did not have an income that increased at least with inflation. Fees constitutes uh, over ha about half of the income that the university receives, and so the consequence of having no fee increase uh, would, be, uh, would be devastating. Our, we, uh, we, have, we are still in discussions with government, as, as we were last year. This is the university sector as a whole discussions with the Ministry to see whether the Ministry of Higher Education or the Treasury or anyone else is willing to cover part of that increase. But that is not yet, we have not yet had any answers on that. And in the meantime, the, student, the universities have to plan uh, for next year's budget. So that is not a, 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 a demand that we can meet. What we can do, though, is we can ensure that through increasing our financial aid, that students who are on financial aid uh, do not get excluded, that they are not um, financially compromised as a result of a fee increase. And UCT fortunately is able, uh, through raising donor money and through um, our own budgets, to provide a financial aid system which will ensure that those students on NSFAS and in the missing middle uh, are not compromised, disadvantaged by a fee increase. Um, in fact, in, in real terms, the students next year would, would be paying the same amount as they paid in 2015. In other words, over a three-year period, when inflation might have moved by 20%, the, the means the real cost of that education has dropped by 20%. So we can't do more than that. Um, the other demand, of course, is that the President releases the report uh, of the Fees Commission. We have supported that demand. Uh, unfortunately, it's not in our control. So, in our view, it is quite unacceptable to behave in this way uh, over demands that are actually unreasonable.